Okay, so recently I got this uh, comment on my YouTube video, how you can see the docu. The thing is, uh, this is a really simple video, I'm not even going to bother taking up my camera, but I'm gonna, this, this guy asked me really nicely, so, you know, I, I, I thought I would just make the video on it. So, that's what I'm gonna do right now. So, this is a crush install of Manjaro Linux. So, what you have to do first and foremost is, what, go here. He wanted the top bar, so I'm gonna talk about the top bar for a minute. It's nothing special, really. It's just the default bar in a different position. Will panel, use the panel settings, lock panel, unlock the panel, drag it, well, that's it. And then, will items, get it there, because so, you're gonna install it with the dock, you're gonna replace it with the dock. I don't use this, so do it that. Okay, future, not really. Is it that? No, the clock, okay. The clock should be in the middle for me. Okay, let's go in there. Add a new one. Let's set the later. Add it. Okay. Go like that. And then go to properties of the separator. Press expand. It becomes, well, it, it, it is in the middle now. And then close. The next thing you want to do is solid color. Colors can be that, and then we'll reduce the transparency of that. Sometimes you might get this broader, but it really doesn't matter. It'll go away after you reboot. If it doesn't, just you know, pump back the opacity, remove the separator, lock the panel, and there we go. You got time in the center. You got the whisper menu right here, and we got that right there. And the second thing uh, you would want to do is go here, go to window manager, and uh, vertex money dot thingy, whatever that is, I just like a dot theme, so that's what, it, that, that's, that's what it's going to be. And then uh, he also asked me about the button being on the left hand side. So this is how you do it, it's pretty simple really. You can, you can have whatever you want, uh, title, title to the center, I don't really care about the font, appearances, appearances, and then you can go, if you want the green accents, you can go to, let this call it up, oh my god, apply, yep, okay, so now everything is dark, basically, now, uh, that's all dark, let's do another, I have a software, that is the software package manager, which is Pac-Man and uh, so, you know, that for Doc, D-A-T, it's what? Doc, yep. That's this uh, Plank, if you want to use Plank, you can do it, but this is the finest stuff that, that no money can buy. That's about it. And uh, you gotta download all the things, commit. And it needs my password. The password is downloading all the things. It's nothing big, really, though. No. Like, the complex part is actually the funky part, which I really don't know how to do. So, until then, I, I think I might get that into minutes. May I read this to you? Because I'm literally using Windows just for Adobe apps. Like, if Adobe made a Linux distribution, I just switch to Linux. Okay, so here. Okay, and then, well, it looks good out of the box. You know, so it looks very good. What, what just happened? Did it just crash? Come on. Okay, it's a donkey. Okay, the settings. Well, classic actually looks good. I don't want to change classic, but whatever I had in that thing was HUD. I actually like the classic now. Hiding. Intelligent height, fade of height, because I like fade and height. 3D background, that's also cool. But, you know. And then you want the zoom, you can double the zoom, icon size, you can height, the classic, docklets, you can you know have all these docklets there. I don't, I don't really use any of them, I even delete the trash mostly. Maybe I had the trash number. Okay, that's fine. He did also ask me about when I move my windows, it gets a little transparent. That is also achieved through system setting. 
Okay, yeah. This thing, I like a little bit transparent. I, I like a lot of transparency. Opacity of inactive window. It's fine. Opacity of tap. Yep, here, right there. I just bring it up. And then well, it becomes a pass. I mean, it, it becomes transparent when I move it. That's cool, right? Okay, so that is what I do with that, which is window manager tweaks, which is right there, go inside that, and compositor, and then you change the opacity. That's about it. And well, you have literally the same setup I had in my video right here. I'm using the same like theme. So he asked me about Tuna Root. Tuna Root is just there. I don't really just need to enter the password and then well it's root. So that's the thing in Manjaro I think he uses Debian or something. So that's how you do it and then you can see I also get the black bars right there. Even if I go to google.com I get the same black bar on the search bar and then it goes away because Google has its CSS figured out but yeah, see the black bar there, and then it goes away. It depends on the website, really. Like if the like most websites are just built for Windows, so and Windows uses a light theme. Pin to dark. That's how you pin things to dark. Just right click and pin to dark, and then you can rearrange them just by well, clicking them, holding them. That's it. And uh, con key, I think I use. Uh, what did I use for Conky? I don't remember. I, I, I learned the Conky from this guy. So I'm just gonna link his video because remote title bar from Conky, how to set up Conky on your Ubuntu desktop. Conky by Matthew Moose. Okay, that's exactly what I had, didn't I? That is exactly what I had. Right there. Okay, so that is exactly this. If I can get a clear shot. There you go. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. So uh, I'll just link this video in the description below because well I don't know how to set it up anymore. I don't use Conky. You know, like I just saw GitHub here somewhere. Yep, GitHub, and it's being bought by Microsoft. That makes me so sad. Seriously. Okay. So that is how you make it and then you can follow along this tutorial here, download all the stuff you need from here, GitHub, GitHub, download it before like Microsoft deletes it. So that's how you do it, how you get black themed Manjaro or no, XFCE with a top bar that looks with the time in the middle, this is kind of glitchy because well it isn't it's running in virtual box you can't really blame that but there we go it it works everything works just fine and if you if you don't want the kde icons well then this itself is a very good update and well it looks really good in my opinion at least i don't know what you're waiting for go do it that's it thanks for watching i will see you next time Did I even start recording